One of the things the AR-15 platform is so popular for is competition. And Nick, you guys have got competition guns here. Absolutely. This is actually our Model 3T. It came out about a year ago, and it's one of our more popular guns. It has that diamond head 13 and a half inch VRST handguard, mm -hmm. which does allow you to add on rail sections at the three, six, and nine o'clock positions if that's what you're looking to do. It also has diamond heads polymer flip up front and rear sights. We use the polymer as well as the standard six position mil spec stock and A2 pistol grip just to kind of keep the price down because people that do get competitive, they're gonna to want to do a bunch of upgrades. So they're, they're probably, probably gonna, gonna pull them off anyway, put absolutely. their own stuff on. So we didn't really want to drive the price up that way. We just kind of put the features we knew they would like and supplemented with some other things that would work, but they could change out if they wanted to and make it really affordable. Okay, all right. And of course, with the, uh, the long handguard here, people, the competitive shooters are out real far out on there. Sure, yeah. usually they're reaching out kind of far and there's a bunch of different grip styles they use. So right. the way it's set up, that triangular feel to the handguard and the finger grooves all the way up and down the sides here really lends itself to it. A, a variation of grips. So what you really have is a gun you can buy and go ahead and just start into competition, but then you can have it grow as much as you want to. Exactly. And just deck it out. Yep. Of course, the other part that's great about ARs is how modular they are. And I'm just I'm looking at it over here. You could take a competition gun like that and you could drop this on it, couldn't you? Absolutely. All you have to do is push the takedown and pivot pins out, which are here and here. Take your 300 blackout upper, right. snap that on, and now you have a completely different upper and a different caliber and utilize the same magazines and the same platform. So you go from your your hog hunting gun and 300 blackout to your competition gun. Absolutely. And and even keep all the optics on there. Sure. That's kind of the beauty of the whole thing. Absolutely. Obviously takes all standard AR mags. Yes. Nope. Takes standard AR-15 magaz or magazines as well as the same components in the lower. So everything's pretty much the same besides having a different barrel on your upper. Okay. So get this thing, get started in three gun, you're ready to go. It's the 3T? It is the Model 3T, correct. All right. From Stag Arms. If you ever go to the range and you're going to shoot a competition with an AR-15, you're going to hear the term load and make ready. All right, well, there's nothing more embarrassing than when you think you're ready and your magazine falls out of your AR just before you shoot. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers here about how to keep that from happening. And here's what it's going to look like. So when I hear load and make ready, I hold the AR in my strong hand, I grab my magazine in my weak hand or my support hand and I make sure I get a pinky underneath it. I call this the beer can grip or a gorilla grip. What I do is I seat tug, seat tug so I know it's not gonna fall out. And then when I load it, I use the charging handle because from here, I'm ready to fire. Magazine's not falling out of this one. 